be? Yes. Yes, sir. Consider it done. That must make you my vanguard captain. Welcome to Interstellar Affairs. I'm Deputy Chief Diplomat McIntyre, Chief Yassine's second in command. I heard you were instrumental in protecting the city from the attack. You have my gratitude. I was also told the President wants us to get you into the Armistice Archives ASAP. So, we've got no time to waste. You know what the Archives are, correct? Hmm. Someone paid attention in current events. So, then you also know that it was originally managed by the three major galactic players. Access to the Archives is only granted in cases of dire emergency and requires a one-time use code from each of the three Armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Now, the UC is already on board, so that means we'll need to convince two people, the ambassadors of the Freestar Collective and House Varun, to hand over their codes. Get them both and you'll have your data. But that's a lot easier said than done. I couldn't agree more. However, both ambassadors have reasons they won't, or can't, work with us. Now, I'll provide guidance on how we believe you can acquire each code, but ultimately, it'll be up to you to get them both to cooperate. And I do mean cooperate. Threats and violence are off the table here. Though that doesn't mean we can't get creative. But it does mean we need to get you up to speed on who you're dealing with. Who do you want to start with? Ambassador Radcliffe of Freestar, or Ambassador Balmore of House Varun? Ah, <sighs> the good Ambassador Radcliffe. She's a veteran of the Colony War, and her only goal in life is to make ours miserable. Hmm, it sounds as though I will enjoy this. Now, officially, our office is suggesting you try and negotiate with her. Use your experiences as a member of the military and with the threat we're facing to convince her to lend her support. And who knows? Maybe that'll work. Stranger things have happened. But my suspicion is we're going to have to rely on other tools to get her code. Certainly. See, good diplomacy is all about the careful application of pressure. We just need to find the squeeze. UC Intelligence has a recording device planted in the Ambassador's living quarters, which we suspect you can use to your advantage. But getting caught trespassing is a quick way to land yourself in an embassy holding cell. So, if you are going to try and access the device, you're going to need to find a way in there without being seen. Report suggests there's a disgruntled staff member you might be able to pump for intel. Maybe even convinced to work with you. All right. Here, your diplomatic ID. I'll give them a heads up, you're on your way. Not likely to let you through the door otherwise. Ambassador Balmore's a challenge. When the rest of House Varun retreated into seclusion shortly after the signing of the armistice, Balmore stayed here. He's since lent his support to a small number of archival requests, so there's real hope he might again. Though claiming to know how a member of House Varun thinks is a quick way to earn yourself a psych eval. It does, but there's a concern. We're not 100% sure Balmore is actually still alive. His public appearances were always rare, but it's been several years now since he last poked his head out. Scans of the facility show life signs, but not the kind we were expecting. Your task is to find him and kindly but firmly remind him of his duties under the armistice. I have no doubt. Now, the embassy front door isn't an option, but our spies have stated there's a side entrance that should allow you access. Here, this device should get you all the way down to the embassy interior. Once you're inside, though, finding the ambassador is going to be up to you. 
And fair warning, we received a report that alarms might have been tripped inside the embassy during the attacks. Watch out for automated security in there. Now, if you have additional questions or require clearance for a new approach we haven't already discussed, don't hesitate to ask. I'd suggest you start with Ambassador Radcliffe. Approach her while the attack is still fresh in her and her staff's mind. Be smart out there, Captain. that I need sign off from the Interstellar Affairs office before I can set foot in there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's plumbing. It's not a peace treaty. It could cause an incident. It would mean my job, sir. <sighs> Fine. I'll begin the process. I cannot help but notice that the Colony War Memorial is in diagonal. Visitors are only allowed. Lobby, offices, or conference room. Terramorphs? As in more than one? All that security and they still can't protect their own spaceport. I wonder how many times one side or the other has threatened to close this embassy down over the years. I the news from an SSNN broadcast. We have a strategic advantage to maintain, Mr. Long. To discuss with you. Of course, ma'am. Uh, when you have time. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, excuse me. Are you supposed to be in here? Official business? Talk to the ambassador. I'm sorry. Do you have an appointment? Ah, you're the one McIntyre called about. The eyewitness. She said you were at the spaceport. You have my thanks for what you did down there, truly. Saved many lives. Now, she also mentioned that, and maybe it was just a bad connection, that now the UC wants Terramorph data from the Armistice Archives, some of the most highly guarded information in the galaxy, in order to protect us all. I can only presume you're here to tell me I misheard her and that they didn't send you, local hero, to futilely beg on their behalf. Tell me I've got that right. Hmm. I was afraid of that. Let me be frank, Captain. The answer is no. That information is there because it is dangerous. I will not be the one responsible for its release. Now, why don't you quit wasting my time and yours and go? You're really gonna push this? All right, I will give you one chance, one, to convince me. Understood. I'm listening. You know that for sure. That is interesting. Oh, please. Buttering me up isn't gonna get us anywhere. Oh, I understand precisely what's at stake here. The balance of galactic peace. Captain, I'm sorry, but my answer is not changing. The UC is just gonna have to find another way. Now, I presume you can see yourself out. That woman is an absolute... Oh, sorry. 
Oh, what? You're the Vanguard captain, right? You know, I was about to board the Nat to the spaceport when the alarm triggered. Sounds like I got real lucky. And like I've got you to thank for things not being a lot uglier. Well, then you have my earnest thanks. But, but look, they said you were coming here on official business. The ambassador likes to handle all that personally. Even if she does have trained diplomats here to help her. And I don't want to get shipped back to Aquila City, so you should probably go speak to her. Uh, uh what you, you want me to work f for you? Um, <clears throat> huh. well, maybe, uh, let's go somewhere to talk. So you want me to work with you, but why now? Why me? No, I, I think that's a pretty safe assumption, and no other city should have to go through what happened here. So then, uh, what would you need from me? Okay, uh, <clears throat> first you need her bio key, and that thing doesn't leave her side. Better chance of splitting the atom with a spoon than me getting that from her. The code machine. Only the ambassador's cleared for in there. Sorry. Her quarters. Huh. Oh, that's doable. And you... And the UC will be providing me with what for my services? Oh, wait, I thought you were looking to hire me. Oh, I'm not taking a bribe. Really? Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, you've got yourself a deal. Okay, so there's a utility corridor that leads into the ambassador's quarters, which you can access through the main conference room. Here, the key. Whatever you do, don't let the guard see you entering or exiting the utility section, or you're gonna be in serious hot water. I'll, uh, I'll keep an ear out for more instructions from the UC.
watching in playback. I also wish to be prepared for any situation, but there are practical limits, no? Did I not make myself abundantly clear, Captain? You're not getting access to the Archives. Excuse me? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I, I, no, no. If the Council found out, I'd lose my position. I'd be exiled. I'd be... Look. I believe we may have gotten off on the wrong foot. The issue at hand is one of trust, no? So perhaps if I can trust you to keep this little secret between us, then maybe we can find a way to trust the UC with access to the archives. Good, good. I appreciate you working with me. Just like I'm sure our great powers will. In fact, I think there's an opportunity here. Keep both our factions happy and ensure an air of legitimacy to the whole proceeding. I can only let you get the information on the Terramorphs. Anything else and people will get suspicious. And all research will need to be monitored. Freestar scientific observers making sure everything's being used for the right purposes. But those two items should be enough to allay any suspicions. Good. Good. Okay. Let's go get you your access. They tell me it should only take a moment. Here you go. Uh, I hope that'll be enough to maintain your discretion.
Have you ever heard one of his sermons? They're really good. appreciate that they have not demolished the structure, even if diplomacy has ended for now. It may not have been their intention. I would like a chance to talk to you, if you are able. Can we speak for a moment? Hmm? Yes? This is... This is certainly different than anything else in New Atlantis.
speak for a moment? So, what seems punishment becomes providence. <laughs> a reminder we can never truly know the Great Serpent's designs for us. You have my thanks, and my apologies for the ordeal you just endured. Come, let us discuss. Not the ideal introduction, I suppose, giving you a grand tour of the embassy via barely functioning intercoms. <laughs> I do greatly appreciate your persistence. I suspect the Venom Tree upstairs has worked itself into more systems than I'd realized. But then again, who could cage such a beauty? Eh? Tell me, though, what is it like outside? I heard the broadcast mentioning an attack, uh, then the embassy was struck with a power surge, and then... Silence. Has the rest of the city suffered quite so badly? <sighs> Is that right, huh? I shall need to have these repairs seen to sooner rather than later. Now, it cannot solely be the Serpent's Grace that brought you here at such an opportune moment. You were sent by the UC. That much is obvious. Who else could just waltz through my door, hmm? And the broadcast spoke of terror morphs at the spaceport. A worrying occurrence, certainly, but coming here of all places, when all I could provide is some enthused cheerleading and... Ah... <sighs> An archive code. So the UC requires information then. On terror morphs, presumably. Hmm? Do I see this all clearly? Yeah, the preservation of life stands as the very purpose of the archives. Using its data to prevent more attacks? There is logic there. But if I am to grant you access, I have a requirement. For years, House Varun has been known only as an agent of slaughter. We founded this embassy with hopes of shedding that legacy. With little success. In exchange for my code, I require this. You must be the one who ensures it is used for good. Ensure House Varun's legacy is more than just carnage. The knowledge you ask for isn't evil. No knowledge is. It is we who bend it to evil ends. Oh, you must assure me this will be used to save lives, not endanger them. Every measure will be taken to ensure the information is used for good. Well, then I shall not fear. Please, follow me. I would like a chance to talk to you, if you are able. <sighs> Let's hope it still works. I have things I wish to discuss with you. And when you have time. There. Let it be used for good.
in the settled systems. Right there, you see security. <sighs> Stop.
Smart move. Now come along with us. We'll take any contraband and stolen property and you'll be free to go. like a chance to talk to you, if you are able. Yes? Okay. Hello. Captain, I just received a couple messages from an operative in the embassy office. I did... Did you actually succeed? With Radcliffe? And Balmore? Was he alive? Did they both actually agree? That's... incredible. I wasn't sure Radcliffe would ever get on board. I'm very much looking forward to getting the debrief on how precisely you managed to pull all this off, but that'll have to wait for another time. Regardless, superlative work, Captain. And now, I've already arranged everything with the archival monitors. When you get down there, the UC monitor will give you instructions on how to deploy the codes. Follow them to the letter. Here, the UC code piece and an archival access card. The entrance is just on the other side of the plaza across from Mast. Absolute best behavior down there, all right? appreciate that not every meter of land was plowed under to build this city. This tree is far too grand for such a fate. Your codes into the three corresponding receptacles. 
Once they are verified, I will open the door. Your data resides in Unit 18. You will not be able to access any of the other units. Once you've collected your data, return to the entrance. You may insert the first of the archival codes when you're ready to begin. Everything in the galaxy needs to come with us, you know. If you are free soon, could we talk? your ship that landed not too long ago? Surprised to find out we're having visitors as we work. Major Sinan and I were just discussing the merits of your planned interfactional cooperation. I think it's a great idea. Get them invested in the solution. Make it clear we've got nothing to hide. I'm sure they'll be lovely house guests. Now, Captain, if you wouldn't mind transferring the documents to the Major, she and I have been discussing next steps. Time for us to start getting some real answers, and figure out if we've been asking the right questions. So whenever you're ready. Acknowledged and accepted, Captain. So with the data out of the way, we've been discussing where exactly this work's getting done. The Red Devil's headquarters on Mars, back where you found Percival, seemed the natural spot. Already has the equipment, the safety measures. Should even be able to house its own cadre of independent observers. Though it sounded like the deputy had a few more things she needed to discuss with you first. Indeed. The most important of which is getting you your citizenship. Then I guess we'll see you on Mars. Captain, if you'll follow me. Hello.
All right, Captain. Are you ready to become a citizen of the United Colonies? Good. This isn't the only item we need to discuss, so I'll give you the short version. Please raise your hand. Captain, through your actions today and in days past, you have earned your place among the United Colonies. Through service, bravery, strength, and upholding of the mutual good. Will you carry and cultivate these values for as long as you remain a citizen? And then, Captain, I'm pleased to welcome you into the United Colonies as a full citizen. Here. Your official ID and your citizenship dispensation. We've also let the Aphelion Realty Office out in the plaza know you're approved to purchase property. Now, the other item we needed to discuss. There's a member of the UC who's asked to speak to you, but this person is in a... sensitive position. Normally, we wouldn't even consider something like this, but we think this person has information that could prove useful in dealing with the Terramorphs and they've stated they'll only share it with you. They asked for you by name. So I need your agreement that everything you're about to see is kept in the strictest confidence. You can tell no one. Can you agree to these terms? Let's hope it never comes to that. Head to the elevator. You're going to subsection seven. I'll make sure you're cleared for access by the time you get there. 